Well, it's day 12. Let's see what we've got. Let's see. It's a bone. It's a bone. There you go. Mary Vlogmas. Mary Vlogmas day 12. Yeah. Your eyes are shining. Are you ready to go out, huh? Are you ready to go outside? Well, say good morning. Say good morning. Speak. Come on. Come on. Speak to me. Talk to me. Say good morning. Speak to me. Say good morning. Come on. Say good morning. Good morning, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's raining. Oh. <laughs> Um, I, Izzy got me up early this morning to go out as usual, and um, we both got soaking and wet, which was awful because we were going back to bed. So I was drying her early this morning, trying to get so that we could get back in the bed. Um, I'm making coffee, so it's gonna make a noise. Um, but I just took her out just now, and. So far, so good. It's um, it's wet, but it wasn't raining. So I hope that it was just like a, you know, an over the night kind of thing. I just um, I just don't like rain, guys. Never will. <laughs> I never will. Um, yeah. I uh, I think I'll have some oatmeal, um, and some coffee I forgot all about it um, until last night when I was reading my journal and everything I um, and writing down I, <laughs> I came across the fact that I had to have a root canal today um, so I had to set my alarm to get up which is and that's that's why right there that you have a um, let, let me set you over here I'm going to put you over here in the cabinet like I did the other day because it seemed to work. There we go. Um, yeah, I, um, I called to try to cancel. And um, she said, but I have you down for a two-hour slot. And I said, I know, I said, but I mean, like, honestly, I said my anxiety about the whole situation is really bad. I just don't want to do it. And um, I said, not right now. And she said, I understand. She said, um, would it help if you got the nitrous? I said, well, I mean, that's helped me in the past. You know, just it kind of makes me feel a little goofy, you know. Just as I want to pour this off. So, um, we talked, and I just told her, I said, Look, I have severe anxiety. And I said, When it comes, I said, It's hard enough for me to get out and about. Because my social anxiety is it's pretty bad when it comes to doctor's offices and things like that because I have to go to them so often. And um, she told me, she said, I totally understand. Let me see, where's my... Here we go. Um, she said, I really do understand. She said, but we've got you down for a two-hour slot. And she said, it's not like... She said, it'll be forever before I can, you know, feel, feel that again you know, a spot, it'll be a really long time. The tooth does hurt. I just, guys, the last root canal that I went through was such a horrible nightmare situation. And I just don't, <laughs> I don't want to go through it again, but I have to, I mean, you know, you sometimes you just have to put your big girl panties on and do what you got to do. So, I'm putting my big girl panties on today, and I am going to, let me, let me move you. <laughs> this is better anyway. Okay, let me get my coffee. And my stuff to go in. My microwavable low sugar 
oatmeal. Um, I just, uh, I just have a hard time. I tend to, um, reschedule visits. Like, the day before, I'll call and I'll say, can we really schedule it to, like, a certain date or whatever? I kind of, I guess I just become like a little chicken, you know, and I just can't. But this is a tooth, and my last experience, it was six months of constant issue. Um, and then I ended up at an endodontist. Um, if you don't know, that's a specialist. Um, what happened is um, my roots, you know, your teeth come down, you've got the tooth and then they come down like this. The nerve is all inside that area, okay? So what they do is they go down in there and they drill out and they clean out that nerve from both sides, okay? And then they pack it and they put the crown over it. So you're not really, I mean, they do saw down the top of your actual tooth so the crown will fit over it, okay? Well, <clears throat> I'm one of those that that nerve that goes straight down sometimes it'll branch off in different places and so it's really hard to get all of the nerve out which as long as you've got a nerve in there you you can feel it so um, after eight tries of trying to get a crown and I, it's kind of embarrassing that I have it's a gold crown. I, did, I mean, I'm just like, you can see it if I smile really, really big. I don't like having it. I'm scared they're going to have to put a second gold crown in there. I'm sorry, that's loud, guys. Um, I'm scared they're going to have to put another gold crown in there because that's about all, the only thing that will fit with my teeth being as close as they are, um, which is more expensive, but... I didn't have to pay for the last one because it took so long, but it hurt for another year after he did finish with it. Um, it was still hurting a year later, and um, I kept calling. The tooth still hurts. The tooth. It can be it can be sensitive, you know, up to so many. You know, I'm like okay, so finally, at, you know, they said that it wasn't uncommon for it to take a year for the sensitivity to go away. Well, a year came and went, and it was still hurting. And it shouldn't have been hurting at all because all of the nerves should have been gone, so it shouldn't have any feeling in it at all. So, um, I called him, and I said, look, I said, it's been over a year. If the nerve was gone, I wouldn't have any feeling in it. It wouldn't be hurting me. He said, well, we know that your teeth, you know, sometimes those nerves branch off. And I said, yes. And I'm afraid that you haven't gotten to all of it. And I said, I've been through, you know what, with this tooth, just trying to get this cap on, this crown, I call it a cap, whatever, crown, trying to get this crown on. And it, it's, it's, it's been crazy. Let me grab a spoon. So, I told him, I said, you know what I've been through? He's like, well, the best thing to do is to um, go to an endodontist because they specialize in, you know, root issues. So, they send me to an endodontist. I mean, right smack in the middle of downtown Birmingham. So, they sent me to an endodontist down there. He's a really nice guy. I mean, you know, um, they took really good care of me or whatever. But the problem is I had to I had to make two trips. Um, a crown is minimum three. He was repairing. <laughs> he didn't take the crown off. He just drilled right th down through the center of the tooth through the gold crown into the actual tooth down into the root well he was able to get it all out and pack it but it was a temporary packing 
and then um, he put a temporary filling in it because he wanted to see how it was doing, you know, how it was working. Well, huh, I took a little tab that night because I was in so much pain, and that was the night that we woke up during the middle of the night and our house burned down. So, um, to say that I'm traumatized by the whole situation is putting it lightly. <laughs> I'm really traumatized. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, I don't want to go through. I don't want to go through it. I don't. And, um, I mean, I know I don't have any choice, but, it, you know, sometimes you do things that you don't want to do. But, gosh, I don't want to do it. But I've got to, and um, my point is at two. So, I'm watching my oatmeal to make sure it doesn't overflow but uh I, um hang on okay that's weird this goes on my baby's collar and um it hasn't worked in forever And all of a sudden, it's decided it wants to work. And I can't get it to turn on or off. Let me see. Um, there we go. I got it off. With, let's, hey, this is a Southern woman's multi-use tool. <laughs> you can do anything with a knife. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, I just, guys, I'm scared. That's what the whole situation that I'm talking to you about today is the, about. I'm scared. I don't want to go through, you know, all that trouble again. Now, I will say this. Um... It could be a very easy situation. It could be one of those situations where um, it goes, it's a breeze. It goes real easy. Um, nothing to worry about. It could be one of those situations, which is fine. But past experiences tell me I don't have the best luck. <laughs> I've always, you know, there's a saying that it's a, Murphy's Law is a, if it's, um, can't happen, it will happen, or whatever. Um, whoo, it went dark. Um, I haven't opened up the, the outdoor blind yet. I'm about to open it up. Well, I've always said that Murphy lives in my closet. He's taken up space there for years. <laughs> i.e. I have the worst luck ever. <laughs> you can see the tree glowing on my face. Um, I'm just hoping that it goes well. So, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to get on, um, put on my foot rest. I'm going to eat my oatmeal and drink my coffee. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos to distract me. <laughs> and, um, then I'll go get in the shower. Um, I would put on makeup, but no point in that. Um, that, I mean, I'd come out of there without any makeup on. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to draw the morning chat closed here, guys. Um, I, uh, I need to kind of just be in my own headspace, if you know what I mean, to kind of gear myself up for the situation. Um, if I can vlog when I get there at all, I will, but, um, 
I really just need to kind of get in my own space and, and here, you know, and, and kind of, you know, cheer myself on, so to speak. It's, um, not looking forward to it. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go have my oatmeal and my coffee and some YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm really behind on those guys. So I'm going to go do that. And then when I get home, I, um, I need to film and that sort of thing. So, um, I'll be talking to you regularly throughout the day. Um, let's pray it doesn't hurt. <laughs> um, when it's over and uh, they don't have any pain tonight and um, that when the crown comes in because they send it off to a lab to be created you know based on the um, impression they get from um, what they leave of your tooth <laughs> which is nothing but just like this little nub that they, I mean they just grind away everything but just the insides and then they do an impression with that gunky stuff you know and they send it off and they make a tooth to match and Anyway, <laughs> I'll have to do two impressions today, um, a root canal and a temporary crown. And then I'll have to go back in like a week or so, I think it is, to have um, whenever it comes in uh, from the lab, I'll have to go back and they'll do, it's called set the crown. So they'll just go in there and they'll take the temporary off, but that's if the temporary is on. I have never been able to keep a temporary crown on. Um, they glue it on. I mean, they glue it on. So that they have to use pliers to pull it off. But mine always comes off. By the end of the day, mine always comes off. I called one time. This was back when he had a couple little idiots working for him. And he's gotten rid of them. But <laughs> he... uh it came off, so I called, and I said, look, I know you're about to close, but I'm on my way because this crown, this temporary crown has just come off. So, oh, no, don't worry about it. She said, fill it full of toothpaste and just let it sit for just a minute until it gets kind of tacky, and then put it on, and it'll stay. I said, look, if he put glue on it to keep it on there until he has to take it off with a pair of pliers, what in the hell do you think toothpaste is going to do? <laughs> I laughed. I said, you're crazy. I said, you better tell him I'm on my way. I said, he better not leave. I said, or I'll call him. <laughs> I've known him for so long. I know. I, I mean, he would come into the office for me for anything on an off day at a weird hour. Um, he's, he's a sweetheart, but that girl he had working for him was a total moron. <laughs> I'm going to go now because I don't want anything to get cold. Um, and just... You'll be seeing this later today, but cross your fingers for me that tonight, when I'm closing out the vlog, that I'm not in any sort of pain or anything like that. And I'm going to have to take my hair down earlier than I wanted, so it's probably still going to be wet in the, the bun part. It, it's dry against my scalp, but I'm sure the longest parts that are wound up are probably, probably still damp, so I'll have to dry my hair. And it'll be a big frizz ball, but it is what it is. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, okay? I hope that you are having a great day so far. And um, by the time you see this, I hope you can say that today was a great day. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, guys. Um, I am headed to my dental appointment. Um, excuse the rough road. I can't really <laughs> do anything about that. Um, I am upset and nervous and anxious and all of those things I tried to cancel it and um, she talked me into go ahead and come in um, I need to get it done I need to get it over with there's a backstory behind why I don't want to um, I've mentioned it before but the last one I had, not only was it a nightmare and did it take forever. The night that I had my last one was the night that our house burned down. And we were inside and we nearly died. And I'm not saying that like, oh, we just nearly died. No, I mean, we 
nearly, we nearly died. I pulled my son out of that house maybe two seconds before the ceiling fell in. We would have been underneath all of that. Thank God for Izzy because she's what she's she woke us up. So to me, root canal equals house fire. And I know that may sound stupid, but that was a very, very traumatizing time in my life. It's not something that I even want. I wish I could forget it, you know? And I can't. So, pray for me because I am parking, first of all. The parking here really is bad. Just pray for me tonight because if you don't hear from me tonight, um, it's because I've taken some medicine and gone to sleep. Um, I expect them to give me pain medicine. Um, they usually do hurt afterwards and that sort of thing. So. Um, just pray for me that it goes well and that I don't have any problems. Um, pray for my anxiety because I've cried all the way. Um, I went and saw my mom and dad because, <laughs> um, I needed to. Some people may say, oh my God, it's just an old point. You're just getting a root canal, but I have severe anxiety and when you add that to my history and the things that have happened in my past it's hard so most of my vlogmas has always been upbeat and happy and those kinds of things and i can't say i'm sorry enough that this part of the vlog is not happy go lucky but guys i'm going through something right this moment and I've got to get in there so that I can take something to relax me before they get started. Um, it's supposed to take two hours. It's a quarter till two. I'm nervous. I don't want to go through it. I want it to go well. I don't want to have any pain. I just don't want to do it. But I know I've got to. And I know that my you know, apartment building's not going to burn down. <laughs> I mean, I know. It's not about that. It's just about the memory of it. It was so traumatizing. And it took, it took a few years to get over. Nearly losing my child. So I'm sorry it's not all smiles and happy talk. But part of vlogging is sharing what's going on in your life and this is what's going on in my life at the moment. So I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna go in there and do what I need to do. If you don't hear anything else from me tonight, if I don't get my vlog up tonight, I'll get it up as early in the morning as I possibly can, or I'll combine two days. We'll just see how it goes. I love you guys. Thanks for your positive thoughts, vibes, and prayers. I'll see you guys later. Well, guys, I made it home. Um, they did everything they could to make me comfortable and to help with my anxiety. As you can tell, I am still... The whole side of my head, the right side of my head is um, numb. No feeling whatsoever. Um, he gave me antibiotics and pain medicine. He said that um, 
my tooth had fractured. It was pretty much split right down the middle. And that's what allowed, you know, bacteria to get down into the root area and cause the infection that called for the root canal. Um, so, he chose just to do the root canal today and not put me through the root canal and doing a crown. I go back on January 3rd to have the crown done. And they're going to put me under to do it. Um, they have oral sedation there. My mom is going to be my driver, and they'll just put me out for that. Um, because that's the worst part, anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what they're going to do. And um, that'll be a lot easier for now. I mean, you know, he just went down the center of the tooth. He cleaned out the nerve. Um, he said he was able to get it. He had to drain it. He said it was, um, it was definitely infected. Um, which is called an abscess, but it was on the very end of the root. Um, but he said that he could tell that the tooth had fractured. He said getting the nerve out would relieve me of any more pain. But he gave me pain medicine just in case. Um, I have, you know, just like the surrounding area or just, you know, the trauma of it being done if I hurt. So, um, I can only pray that the root is completely gone and pray that it's not, it's not branched off somewhere that he couldn't see. Um, I hope that he got it all. The antibiotics are to clear up any of the leftover bacteria that um, we might not have gotten. Um, I lived. I know I would. I just, your anxiety when it takes hold of you, it's just a cold fist and it just, it's a really hard grasp. And so, um, I'm happy to be home. I'm happy to be in my PJs and I'm about to attempt to eat something. I haven't had anything other than the oatmeal I had this morning. So, um, and it's, you know, getting into the evening hours now. So, um, I am going to call off, call this the end of the vlog for today. Um, I'm going to eat and I'm going to take the pain medicine. He told me to go ahead and take it, you know, before the feeling comes back. And, um, hopefully, you know, there won't be any at all after that. And so, that's what I'm going to do. Um, it'll probably make me sleepy, but I need to plan and I need to film my plan with me. So I'm going to do that. And, um, so I need to get busy. I need to edit. I need to upload, um, this vlog and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the day guys. Um, I probably will lay down for a couple hours, um, just to try to rest, you know, and, um, really not liking being on camera with half of my face totally paralyzed. <laughs> That's not fun. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm going to eat, take my pain medicine, and go lay down. It's been stressful today. Um, but anyway, I am going to go Merry Vlogmas. I'll see you um, bright and early in the morning. Just like you saw. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I love you. If you haven't already subscribed, do that. And check the like button for me if you would. And that's it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.